Hello everyone, welcome to a very special Christmas. Pee pee! I've done it wrong. Hello everyone and welcome to a very special Christmas, Simon's. Ho 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 ho! Pee pee! Lewis! Sir. Oh, we, we, we got a friend missing. Can but I don't break the button, the microphone? Here he is. Hello? Dressed in a very special. Oh my god, he's my little helper! Christmas garb. He's my little helper, Lewis! <laughs> He's, oh my uh, God, Lewis. It's a bit big for him. Oh, what a sweet boy. <laughs> what a sweet little boy. Uh, I love him, Lewis. So yeah, we're joined by Daph, uh, dressed as a, as a Santa's little helper. With his little booties. Oh no, they're not booties, they're just too long. Oh my God. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck kind of a dog is this? Yeah. Yeah, oh my a... God, this is for a big boy. Yeah, so... so um. We've got some Christmas stories, which I think you've put together. <laughs> it's like you're milking his legs there. <laughs> Give me a minute. I've got to get that ready. There we are. We need our little friend to keep yeah, us warm are. and cosy. It's a bit chilly in here, but you've got your regal sash on. I've got my, my Christmassy sash. I've got my Christmassy hat. I've got Simon's... Christmassy hoodie. Well, I, I got you last year, the year before, whenever. For the, for the Jingle Cats. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I appreciate it. Oh, I've got my, my, my Christmassy whatever this is. Some sort of gamery thing. I don't know. Yeah, we're, 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 we're in the Christmas mood. We're in the Christmas spirit. We're cosy. It is the middle of November. <laughs> That's true. We are recording this. Which is weird. Before Jingle Jam. But, it is weird. You know, we have to get this stuff ready. You know, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of prep work. You have to peel the potatoes, you know, mash the the parsnips. No, you mash the potatoes. Baste the turkey. No, you baste the potatoes. Stuff the potatoes. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do with potatoes. <laughs> yeah. That you need to get ready. Well, you're vegan, so there is a lot of potato prep. Yeah. You know, just to make sure everything's ready for potatoes Christmas. Potatoes done five ways. Mmm. That sounds like a very French French dish. Le pomme de, de terre est de cinq ways. Mm. <laughs> Where are we, what have, shall we get on with this? Merry Christmas! <laughs> have we got Christmas news? Well, I mean, what we have here is there's, there's a selection of real life stories of Christmas. Mm -hmm. There is some news as well. It depends on what, what do you feel like? Everything. I'm in the mood because for... everything is about fourteen hours of content. Well, really, smashing! Let's okay. Well, let's get started. Let's go. The longest it all. episode of PP yet. Check out these laugh out loud funny holiday stories submitted by Reader's Digest Canada. Yeah. Now I'm gonna make. I'm gonna watch you like a hawk. Now who listens to re who reads Reader's Digest? Because I want to see you laugh out loud. Canada. I think the average... Canadians. Old Canadians as well, though. Yeah. I mean, Reader's Digest is only a step away from the farm, Farmer's Almanac, you know, that people have in their toilet. I was thinking more like people's, people's Friend. People's... People's Friend. Saga Magazine. Oh, my God. That's where we're going with this Well, stuff. that's officially for old people. Yeah. People's but, Friend. You can be a teenager reading it. Who... People's Friend sounds like the communist <coughs> flipping manifesto m magazine. The People's Friend. You know, all of the so all of your socialist the people's for the, republic for of friends. the workers. Yeah, let's um, let's read some of these stories and just assess <clears throat> the boomer nature of them. Uh, okay. So, oh no, there's a video going. There's a video. Okay. So, so don't read it. Oh, well. listen to me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to paint the picture, paint the scene. One evening, I arrived home from work to find the lights out. My wife had prepared a lovely candlelit dinner and our two young sons, Garrett and Selden, okay. were dressed in their suits. Okay. Hey, I joked, didn't we pay our hydro bill? Okay. <laughs> this is obviously for Canadians. <laughs> 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 now, how, how, how much of this do you understand so far? It's, it's, it's like a different language, but okay. I can just it about in grasp it. Hydro bill, obviously. Sure, didn't pay our hydro bill. Yeah, so the lights have gone off because you didn't pay your hydro bill. Hydro means water. You didn't pay the water bill. 
The lights are off. Sure. Okay, sure. Keep going. A few months later, during the Christmas Eve candlelit procession, the church was packed and silent when Garrett asked, Hey, Dad, did they not pay pay their hydro bill either? (laughs) Right. Because it was a candlelit vigil. That is trash. That was garbage. Hydro bill. So I guess it's electricity bill. Hydroelectric must be, power? Mu- must be, must be, yeah. It's so weird that it's called the hydro bill. I have never heard of that before. Right. Never heard of that. It's only through the context that I've figured it out. So right? the parents had set up this... Their sons are called Garrett and Selden. And they were wearing their suits. For just a random dinner at that home. That must just be a Canadian thing. They must just do that. Let's move on. I think we. I think we've... I think there's ten of these stories... Well, we're not going to get through all ten. I just wanted to focus on a few of them, in in particular this one. Really, you need we need because more? this is just insane, isn't it? It's it's everything I thought it would be an okay. unfunny boomer story. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Did you did you laugh out loud? I forgot to check. No, I no. I I, I frowned out loud. You frowned out loud. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. So this is very whimsical. This is very Christmassy in the spirit of Christmas. As we as we should hope. My, my husband took our two sons. Again, a boomer story, but Devin and Chase. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Devin and Chase. Oh. Maybe they're school friends with Garrett and Selden. I don't know. Sure. My husband took our two sons, Devin and Chase, to a party where Santa would be handing out gifts. The instructions from the organisers were to bring our own gifts. Sure. I mean, that's fair enough, right? I mean, obviously, it's not the real Santa. You don't want shit gifts. But can you imagine, though, if you gave, like, two Nintendo Switches and your kids open up and it's like, oh, a pen light, what I always wanted. And you're like, oh, no. Oh, a, a key ring with a Pikachu on. And you're like, well, I have to my two fucking switches. Where are they gone? And then the next kids come up mm. and they're wearing like rags. They got dirt all over their faces. One of them's got a limp. Oh, like Tiny Tim. One of them's got like a cane. <laughs> Mummy, I'm cold. Can we, can you, can we please put the fire on a bit more this winter? Can't afford to. <laughs> Bills has gone up. The hydro's gone up. <laughs> And they open their presents, and it's the two switches. This is, how are we going to charge this? <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to cry. I won't even... I need, how am I going to hold my keys? <laughs> this is the saddest story I've ever heard. Oh, if only we had a little torch to be able to see the darkness. <laughs> Okay, so they brought beach towels with the kids' names printed on them. That's their Christmas presents. Beach towels with the kids' names printed on them. Canada. Is this... Wow. Beach towels. I didn't know they had any beaches in Canada. I mean, there's a lot of coast. Yeah, but it's... Especially towards the north, where it's all frozen. Right, I see. Yeah. Okay, the towels are probably made of, like, yak... Moose, moose hide, you know, very thick, or moose wool, or whatever, you know. It's probably like wearing a, it's loft insulation. Yeah, yeah, asbestos. Yeah, keep you real, keep you warm. That's a good insulation. You could literally sit in a fire. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, right, it's taken us us a long time to get through this one story. That's okay. Upon arriving, Devin said he couldn't believe the skinny Santa was actually the real Santa. I see. His doubt turned to belief, as in it did a 180. Yeah. Because that seems confusing to me. Like, he believes that it's not Santa. That's what I would immediately read from that. Oh, right, okay. But it's the opposite. His doubt turned Turned to... Turned to belief, faith. He has to be the real Santa, he said. How else would he know my name? Because it's a beach towel with his name on. Right. And Santa is omnipotent, as we know. Well, it would be more omni- omniscient. Oh. Omni- oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't know that. Also, he's omnipresent because he's everywhere. Like a gas. 
Right. Like air. You're saying Santa is like gas. He's like air. That the would air explain that how he gets around. Yeah. And he can go down people's chimneys because that's where smoke come up. So, you know... And that... he floats down like a formless void of gas. Okay. <laughs> it's quite ghostly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that bad for the sucks, environment? He sucks up the mince pie. What kind of... And there's just like all these floating half-digested mince pies in this cloud. Right. And then it's off. That would explain the... Everyone's always trying to work out how Santa gets around everywhere in a limited time. Mm. I'm, if he's using reindeer <clears throat> the whole time, what were the kind of emissions that he would generate? Do you know what I mean? Well, if it's reindeer, the emissions would be quite low because it would just be their farts. Are reindeer, though, like with the, the on per, per distance travelled, more if, or if, less efficient Mathematically, than... you could figure out the minimum amount of power it would take for each reindeer to have to produce in order to expel the energy required to yeah. carry not just the sleigh and Santa, but presents for every boy and girl in the world. And that would be quite a lot of mass. Mm. <clears throat> so the emissions from the reindeer are probably very, very high. Oh, yeah. But we're not sure how, that, how they power it. It's some sort of magic. I'm just saying... Would it be better if there was like electric sleigh powered by hydro, you know, rather than reindeer powered by cookies and carrots or whatever the fuck? It could be worse. In in Viz magazine, there's a, a character called Mickey who's a little boy and he has a moped and the moped is powered by monkey spunk. Wow. That's one of those rare expensive <clears throat> liquids, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, like printer ink and Mink, Mickey's Warhammer paint. Monkey Spunk Moped, I believe, is the name of, of the comic. Strip. I guess there are less efficient fuels than <laughs> reindeer. Then that's good yeah. to know. All carrots. Yeah. I mean, effectively, it is like you could probably feed that those reindeer loads of crap, like waste. You know, like old banana peels and stuff. Come dasher, <laughs> come dancer. Wow. Do you reckon that would be like giving them that expensive fuel at the petrol station, the turbo? <clears throat> oh, no know. one no one gets that though, right? I don't know. I've never seen anyone get it. I bet you some people do. I the bet... premium petrol. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Maybe certain cars need it. I don't know who though. Lamborghinis? Maybe. Oh. Murcielago? <laughs> Some of my favourite childhood memories involve our family's annual trips to the local Christmas tree farm. Wow. Although we have an artificial tree at our house. Okay. My children are still able to partake in the tradition by accompanying my parents when they cut down their tree. You've got to cut down your own tree. Okay. No, that's fun. These two old people... These two fucking grandparents having to cut down a tree. But they can handle it. Oh, which way is it? Which which way is it going to fall? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure. Take a bit out of the other side. Well, it's not like Oh, a... it's going. It's... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> They're not cutting down a fucking uh, mega grand oak or whatever it's Are called. They not? It's just a fucking little tree. A little it's just a fir. It's just a little fir. Or else it can't be can't be higher than their house, right? Like the ceiling. I mean, well, they got to they got to get it into the log cabin or whatever. That's true. That's true. Okay, so when I announced we would be helping them pick a tree the following weekend, I expected Ethan, relatively normal name. Yeah, sure. Thank God. To be excited about the outing. Instead, he furrowed his brow, puzzled, and asked, "What did they do with the one we got them last year?" Right? No. A perfectly, a, a perfectly good question. That's, I like the sassiness of that. Like, yeah. Well, haven't they already <clears> got one? We already could, could you have to get them another one. We've got to do this every year. We have to cut down a tree, stick it in someone's house, and then burn it in the garden. <laughs> yeah, later. After all the. <clears> they... It's better than getting a plastic one. Well. The plastic one lasts forever. What? Unless you burn it. <laughs> I think, isn't there a thing where you have to have a plastic one for like 
six years and then it's better than a or is it ten years? And you have to that's better than one it what a, a, if it an actual one. How how long do you have to have a plastic <clears throat> one? At least ten years for the environmental impact to equal that of a normal tree. Okay. Ten years. So yeah. So ten years <clears throat> to be more sustainable than regular ones. Isn't this isn't that plastic? It's not a Christmas tree though, is it? Well, it's a tree of some sort. Covered in Christmas lights. It's fine. We'll keep it for 10 years. <clears throat> this tinsel, keep this for 10 years. You know, we'll get our use out of it. Yeah, I, I think we should. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'm worried about our footprint. I'm glad that Ethan is thinking about that, though. Good for him. Yeah, good for him. Worst ever Christmas stories. This is more like it. So moving on from <clears throat> boomer Canadian stories about their children to... London. The Metro. London tragedy. <laughs> right. What times Christmas was ruined. Actually, I don't think it's that bad. 14 people share their worst Christmas stories. These are quite short though, look. Luke 35, terrible. brand manager from London. <laughs> My grandpa got really drunk, swore at all of us, and passed out by 5 p.m. That sounds... What a legend. <laughs> <laughs> swore at all of us and passed uh, out by 5 p.m. That uh, does sound very much, like, very familiar. This is wonderful. This next one's very heartwarming. We're going back to Canada. Jane, 22. Oh, she's in Canada. Re what retail worker from Canada. What is the deal with this? My birthday is late November. For years, my mother brought, bought a pile of presents and split them in half for my birthday and Christmas. Right. Then she started forgetting to do that. Right. Throughout middle and high school, she forgot to buy me Christmas presents for four of the five years. Okay. Sure. The last time she did it, she asked me what my favourite gift had been, and I said it was something from my distant great aunt and uncle. A gift shop trinket, really. Right, so something Nothing just... Expensive. Something just cutesy. She yelled and screamed at me in front of all the extended family about what an ungrateful little shit I was. Wow. She Then she looked at my brother's present piles, then mine, and saw that I had nothing. Wow, she had no presents. Present pile. She looked at my present pile and there wasn't one. <laughs> That's she, what you should have said. She looked at my non-existent <laughs> present pile. And had an awakening. <clears throat> Isn't that fucking sad, though? That's awful. That's an awful story. Well, I hope that gets everyone in the Christmas spirit. This is one of those things that happens when your birthday is near Christmas and your family's like, oh, fine, well, I guess, guess I have to combine it. You never get as many presents as you should do. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 when she said her favourite Christmas present was like just a little trinket, church key thing, right? I thought, how very humble of her for yeah. a child. But that's not... It's because she never got anything from, from anyone else. From my mum. <clears throat> wow. It's very sad. I guess she was trying to save face and not say, oh, I, I don't, you <clears throat> never got me a Christmas present. Yeah. Wow. But hopefully after that, her mum did Is better. that the rest of the story? Is there no more? That's it. That's it. That's the end that's of the, the sad That's the end of the story. story. Isn't it? <laughs> did you want some closure? Well, I wanted her to, like, yeah, I wanted to know what happened next. Next year, my mum made it the best Christmas ever. Well, what did she say when she realised that she had nothing? She just laughed? What was... This is, this is very, like, anticlimactic. Then my, then my mum pinched me. And, and she said, I prefer your brother anyway. Wow. You were a mistake. Your brother was planned. Yeah, your brother Gendrick or whatever Canadian fucking name. Look, she's called Jane. That's a normal name. Yeah, all right, fine. Canada, sort yourself out. You're messing us. You're messing us around with these stupid stories. Paul, twenty nine, mechanic from Ohio. It's funny. My birthday is Christmas Day. Oh no! Yeah. See, one year my grandma gave me a mug full of peppermints. Yeah. And gave my younger brother a car. Well, listen, Paul, mechanic from Ohio, maybe your bro younger brother needed that car. Sometimes, sometimes our other family members need stuff more than us, you know? And I'm sure your grandma knew that he we, was... We don't have the context. Yeah. Younger brother might have just gotten a job and he needs a car to get around. Maybe he was struggling. 
you know, I'm sure there's more to it than this one sentence, yeah. but I can see how that would disappoint you. Especially when it's his birthday as well as it I being know. Christmas and all he gets is a mug of mints. That's brilliant. Gary 39, lawyer from London. <clears throat> I got norovirus two days before Christmas and was forced to stay in bed listening to my family laughing and playing games downstairs. We don't know how old he was because it says he's 39 now. Yeah. Well, this this is last year. This is obviously stuck with it. <laughs> well, norovirus is pretty bad. You feel yeah. really rough, puking away with the old winter vomiting bug. Yeah, great. It's horrible to have. I don't don't recommend it. If you you shit yourself. It. You vomit continually. Yeah. You lose a lot of water. You know, dehydrated. You can't keep anything down. So anytime you try and drink I, water, all you all of us it back have up. had one bad birthday. You know, or <clears> one bad Christmas. You know, I I would I remember like oh god, you know, traveling on my birthday or something. You know, have an horrible time spending it all like when delays and stuck somewhere in the cold. <coughs> you were in an airport. Yeah, it's my birthday today. Yeah. You tell someone at the coffee shop they give you a muffin with a candle. That would be, that probably don't have nice. candles. A muffin. With they just a give smarty. you a free muffin. <laughs> right. Here's well, a free muffin. Happy generous. birthday. Yeah. That'd be nice. But it's normally eight quid you wow. charge for that. Holy crap. That's very generous then. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Thank you. By the way, this isn't a reason for us to like talk to each other or anything. So if you want to just Please keep... go and... We've got yeah. other customers. Yeah, if you so... want to just leave... Well, actually, it's dead quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, i got to, I got to clean something around the, toilet, the back. Toilet needs whatever. overflowing. And then you just see them on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is BuzzFeed. So it's the quality of things that you'd expect from Christmas BuzzFeed. horror stories. Yeah. This isn't even the spooky version. So when you think podcast. horror stories, what do you imagine? You know, bodies, blood, gore. Yeah. Santa's reindeer gutted, intestines hanging out, a crying baby Jesus. Yeah, God. I, well, actually, now I'm worried about what these are going to be because, you know, I was thinking <laughs> this was going to be a lighthearted podcast. Oh, it's horror stories. That's what it says. Christmas horror stories. Okay. Okay. I found out Santa wasn't real, not because my parents told me, but because the bike I got from Santa came in a box my dad left in the garage, and it had a giant picture of the bike I got printed on the side. Right. Christmas horror stories! It's not really... Ah! It's not really a, a horror story, is it? Being <laughs> At a certain age, you're going to fucking figure it out. Do you know what I mean? Everyone does it. It's a... It's a it's a traumatic moment. I was fourteen years old. It, I don't know if you remember the time you figured out Santa wasn't real, but it was a traumatic moment. I don't know if it was. I think it is. I think it's a stressful moment for a lot of kids when they. I was probably very. Their young, world actually. shatters that they've been lied to all this time. You know, I think it's a problem. Yeah. I was opening presents with my then boyfriend in front of his huge religious family. We had been together for some time, and we all thought he was going to propose to me. Yeah. So they, what are you thinking? You're thinking, oh, my God, it's going to be like a dildo, sexy lingerie. Whoa. A Mulder Willie kit that she bought him. Whoa. Oh, what a horror story. Because of religious family. And you'd be like, oh, my God. What do you think that's <clears> going to be the worst thing? <throat> they all waited with bated breath while I opened the tiny envelope from him that he had put a lot of thought it's a ring. into. It's a ring. Instead, the envelope contained a gift certificate for laser mole removal. Holy <sighs> shit. That's real bad. Wow. That is real bad, isn't wow. it? Wow. Fuck me. I had never expressed any interest in this previously it's not like she said oh! it's not like she said oh could you get oh, god this is uh, this is a horror story could you the imagine cringe. can you imagine if also oh. she had like no moles on her face at all or and the visible. parents are like um i couldn't decide whether to cry or laugh but we broke up shortly thereafter that the cringe there. That was really bad. Is real. Now, this story is the reason that I included this. Yeah, that is actually value. 
You looked you looked through these to the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's going on the list. Okay. That is so bad though, isn't it? That is so bad. That is embarrassing as heck. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, why did he... I guess he just didn't realise that it would be opened in front of everyone. You get that fucked up thing on your face, gotten rid of. I'm doing <laughs> you a fucking favour. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, especially if you thought it was going to be some sort... Everyone in the room's thinking it's going to be some sort of great romantic gesture. I thought it would be a ring. They see the little envelope and they're like, oh, my God. Or, it's, or even if it was just like there. tickets to something romantic. Yeah. Or like, I don't know. Okay, we're going to Paris and they're like, oh my God, he's going to go to Paris and they're gonna, he's going to propose yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah, like a whole story. And it's a gift. Even a gift certificate is bad for like a partner. That's pretty bad. For ladies and mom. But but this gift is, certificate alone for anything but is the, quite bad. Is, and also this is almost like one of those things that you get later on. It's like, you know, we're not going to get each other presents this year because we need a new oven. So right. I'll buy you, I'll, I'll, my gift to you will be the new oven and, you know, your gift to me will be the new lawnmower or whatever. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Stuff like the family. Practical that things that That shit that happens need. once relationships have settled down. Yeah. I feel like even then the laser mole removal is... Something that you'd you wouldn't you if wouldn't get never, that for Christmas. If she has never once mentioned wanting it removed, that's so bad. Good lord. What's next? Oh my god. They can't get better than that. No, that's it, we've peaked. So this is from mommyshorts.com. We're sm we're, we're smashing <laughs> through the mommy mommyshorts.com. Oh my god. Funniest holiday fail stories. Okay. Yeah. They're all quite familiar. They're we're all not, very predictable. We're not scraping the bottom of the barrel with our content. We're bringing you the freshest fails from... Uh, 2018. 2018. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is a bit of a fail, this podcast. In case you've missed it. In case you've missed it. So I thought this story was going to go in a completely different direction and see if you can, see if you can figure out what I thought was going to happen. Okay, okay? no. One Christmas Eve, when I was young, my little brother and I both heard a loud noise coming from the living room. We got out of bed and tiptoed down the hallway to discover our dad vacuuming the floor. He told us that the reindeer got into the house and pooped on the carpet. Of course, we believed the story. Years later, he revealed that he accidentally... Now, I imagine that Dad came home shit-faced from the pub and he shat on the floor. <laughs> That's what I thought was going to happen. Well, There's be. a big pot of shit on the floor. And he's like, oh, yeah, it was rainy. It was fucking rainy again. You wouldn't be vacuuming up. be shit on the floor. You wouldn't vacuum up a shit. Well... Even however drunk you were, you'd know that that is not a good idea. Yeah, it's probably... Yeah. I mean, uh, Henry is good for wet and dry. Is he? Is yeah. there a wet version? So, no, never. No, do. I don't think. No, I don't think there's any. Why reason. did your mind go there? What? what do because you it, his excuse was that a reindeer shat on the carpet. Right. Right. Oh, I see. So I thought he had actually shat on the carpet. What he actually did was was he knocked the tree over when setting the presents up underneath right. it. So like, all the needles and stuff were all over the floor. That's that's all it was. What and so he it was hoovering up needles. So I see, because the kids were like, it was like my god, if if because all the presents were under the tree. Yeah, I guess, and so they were mm. like, they found him, they caught him in the act, and so he had oh. to quickly cover himself. You see. He had so, to make up a story on the spot for why he was the president. No, but arrived. years later he reveals that he knocked the tree over. Oh. So that is actually real. The knocking the tree over bit is real. Well, yeah, but like, <clears throat> um, you know, they came down thinking he was Santa. So they would have spoiled the whole thing. Yeah. So we had to... Oh, Santa's just been. One of his reindeers did big shit on the carpet. <laughs> that was his immediate... Yeah. I'm sup I mean... Why didn't he just say the reindeer had knocked over the tree or Santa had knocked over the tree or whatever, you know? What because was the... he did a shit on the carpet and there's like this brown stain. You think that's what actually I think happened. he shit on the carpet. And even years later, he's too embarrassed yeah. to reveal the truth. The truth of him shitting on the living room carpet. No, I solved. We've solved that mystery. Yeah. These are all classics. A few years back, 
when my husband and I were dating, he bought a ring. The ring. <coughs> not, not the one ring. No. Wrapped it in a box <coughs> and put it under the tree. Come Christmas Day, we were watching as everyone opened up their gifts. This is the same story as we had before. Watch, I watched as his dad picked up a box, opened it, and looked down at the gift he had just opened. Realising what it was, he passed it over to my now husband with an uh-oh expression on his face. My husband, to be, looked down into the box with no expression or words, handed it back to me <laughs> as handed is. Handed it over with no words, opened already. I saw a ring, thanked him, confused. Oh, thanks, a ring. That's nice. And later... In the car, as we drove away, he looked at me and said, that was supposed to be an engagement ring, you know. Oh, God! What a mess. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so horrible. So how did he... His fucking dad just randomly opens a present. Oh, this looks nice. I wonder what this is. Whose is this from, for Oh, then? a fucking ring. It must be for you, Sheila. <laughs> Sorry, Caitlin. What? What's her name? What a mess. And you married this guy after that. Oh, God. You must really like him. He must have some other qualities. You shouldn't propose at Christmas Who, either. What was that thought as well? That, like, that moment. Oh, uh, the people put a lot of stock into the proposal, you know? At least it was done, right? Technically, the proposal was on the drive home. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose it's a... You know, that was an engagement ring, right? It's a story for us all to laugh you at You want to get afterwards. fucking married or something? <laughs> when we... What, how did you do your proposal, Alex? Uh, we both did it at the same time. That's very romantic. They did it at the same time. That's so cute. See? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the truth. Did you both get down on one knee at the same time and pull out a ring? We were on the sofa. Oh, my God. You too. I've been thinking. Yeah, I've been thinking too. You know, about us. Yeah, I've been thinking about us. You know, I'm thinking maybe, you know, because I kind of see spending the rest of my life. Yeah, you know, why don't we, we should get, yeah, why don't we get, okay, yeah, okay. Is it like that? And then you pull out the. Got rings. You we did got, have rings we, for each other. We were going to do it and we got engagement rings. Uh, you were just we sat were on the like, sofa. Were you watching telly? No, no, it was, it was during it was like Christmas we were watching <laughs> we were watching Gladiator <laughs> <laughs> and the CGI Ollie Reed was talking about gay giraffes and I was like this is the perfect moment right Jesus Christ <laughs> oh my god don't mix birthdays and Christmas proposals and Christmas mm. don't mix things up just because you think it's a good don't idea don't propose at someone's wedding for God's sake, do not propose at someone else's wedding. So, yeah, you don't need to make everything about you, right? Just keep it between the two of you. Private. Oh, my God. Don't need people around. When my daughter was just 12 months old and learning to walk, <laughs> why don't you just say a year, we went to my mother-in-law's house for the holidays, which was totally not baby safe. Turns out her kitchen oven and all its controls <laughs> were at perfect eye height for a 12-month-old just going to walk. They play, I guess after playing with the, the thermometer, we noticed that the oven temperature was turned up to 450 degrees. Mm. And the turk, but... Bless you, because it's tight. It's very cold in here, Alex. It's cold. Fortunately, rather than being burned, the turkey was just finished way, way, way before any of the other items were completed. This doesn't, like, this is no big deal at all, is it? That's fine. The turkey was ready a bit early. You can just put it back in to warm up a bit. Because the baby toddled around and turned the oven up. It could have gone so much worse. A baby by itself in a kitchen just fucking around. Yeah, that story could have turned into a real horror story. The sprouts are boiling up on the stove. <laughs> Could it could have gone terrible. It could have been like even worse. It could have been like. And they ended up with a fucking turkey that was a bit cold. No, here's the story, okay? We come to serve Christmas dinner and we notice, we, and all of us are enjoying mouth watering scent of the turkey coming from the oven. Oh no! But my parents opened the fridge and realised they haven't put the turkey in yet. Where's my baby? My baby! 
And that's what. That's the worst version of that story. It's like the end of Pikmin's model ah. and Cabinet of Curiosities. This one's from Canada. We went out as a fucking. Why are they? Story. Why is everyone doing this? We went out as a family and cut down a tree. I've so, never done that. Who does that? I've never done that. Two days later, our cat started attacking the tree. We realised it was covering covered with praying mantis babies. Praying mantis babies. Pray. Where the <laughs> fuck does what? <laughs> There were <laughs> there were hundreds of them. Oh. We dragged our infested tree out of the house in the middle of the night a week before Christmas. It was horrible and I still have nightmares about it. Wow. That is pretty fucking bad, isn't it? Well, I mean, obviously everyone's had that a little bit, like with a tree. Like sometimes <clears> you have a worm <throat> crawl out of the soil or something. You a know, squirrel. Or, or some insects come in with it, you know, a, a squirrel. Yeah. Okay, how big is this tree? Your trees are very oversized, I think. It's, it's, yeah, but it's a small squirrel. Right. It's, you know, it hid away quite well in the branches. I think that would be quite nice. Have a little squirrel living in there with you. Yeah. Nipping, like, going through all the presents, eating, like, looking for some acorns. And it could either... What? It could be part of the dinner, right. of course. Roasted with, or, with some nuts. Or you could stick it on the top of the tree. <laughs> Put like little angel wings on it and a halo. Just shove its ass. Just shove the top of the tree up its ass. You could ta taxidermy it for sure. I think that's... No, just do it when it's alive. It's okay, funny. good. When I was six years old, I'm just going to keep going with these. My <laughs> mum decided not to wrap our Christmas presents. Very strange choice. And placed them in neatly stacked piles under the tree instead. Some of her siblings had did this with their kids and told her how nice it was to not have to clean up all the wrapping on Christmas morning. That's kind of bullshit, really, isn't well, it? Well, when my brothers and I walked down to see the, the, the presents, we were horrified to see that Santa had forgotten <laughs> to wrap them. I'm pretty sure we all burst into tears. Every year from then on, we wrote letters to Santa, politely reminding him to make sure <laughs> that the gifts were wrapped. Oh. My mum said it was the biggest mistake she ever made. Yeah. And we each reminded of it. She was ahead of the game. That's fantastic. In the sustainability thing. Because there's a lot of waste with Christmas present wrapping. We always say, like, oh, it's a real shame. Oh, he gives a shit. It's just a bit of fucking paper. It's a real shame. To throw all this in the bin, this lovely wrapping. Sometimes my Meanwhile, U Union Carbide or some fucking company just churning out fluorescent fluid into our rivers. <laughs> we're like, oh no, we we got to collect all the paper and put it in the correct recycling box. Oh, we got to use it again next year. Yeah, I, I I get it, but yeah, everyone is. We're very conscious of this, though. You know, you're you're going to be given like. People want to be buried in, like, biodegradable cardboard coffins now and stuff, you know, for sustainability. Sure, who cares? Yeah, go for it. Because, what, you're just going to decay and just be a pile of bones and dust anyway. Yeah. What does it matter whether it's in a nice wooden box or not? Mm. Who cares? Yeah, I don't want to, I don't, just bury me in an old the... bag for life. Fuck it, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> no, not a bag for life. <laughs> Paper bags. Some oh sorry right. yeah some we'll put you in a paper bag like some groceries from America just use like the wrapping you know you build buy those like meals for one like cardboard the wrapping around the plastic tray just put a couple of them on my legs pop pop <laughs> <laughs> no why don't we just wrap you in Christmas wrapping paper? my arms could be in Pringles tubes no we can wrap you in wrapping oh paper. The wrapping paper It'd be like a little gift a little for gift death. for the earth. Yeah. Happy Christmas, Earth. The worms are like, oh, it's, it's a present. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lewis, this is actually new for us. News. Right? This is new news. Atrocious As opposed weather, to garbage snow. stories. This is, this, is, this is, we're finally getting to the good stuff. You know, we've had to sit through the sprouts and the, 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 the cold bits of salad and cabbage. Now we're getting to the turkey and the gravy. No. No, we've had mince. turkey. Turkey Sorry. was horribly dry. The gravy was too watery. 
Now we're moving on to desserts. Right. And it's mince pies. Oh. Everyone loves a mince pie. Don't you have a mince pie in the afternoon? Well, it's not really dessert, is it? It's it's just a snacky treat. Yeah, well, you watch the Queen's speech yeah. and have a mince pie. Yeah. So what about them? Um, apparently, uh, Zoomers on the internet are learning for the first time that mince pies are actually made with like minced ground meat. They don't contain mints. They're, it's not meat. It's not meat. The mince isn't... It's not beef mince or lamb mince. No. no it's nothing. It's not... Well, it's it's not, fruit. It's raisins and sultanas. And, yes. And whatever else is in mince pies. The, if they were that nice, we'd have them year round. <laughs> yeah. I've always said. Very good point. Very good point. Um... I feel so like... So I thought they was little meat pies. I mean, it's, it's even... With a dusting of sugar on top. It's even more off-putting that they're called mince pies. Maybe they need a new name. What should we call them? Christmas pies. That's free. That's stupid. No though. one's using it's that. so generic. Yeah, but... Can we call them Jesus pies? Right. You've got to bring the Christ... Back into Christmas, because without him, it's just mass. What about X? Mus. What about Xmas pies? What about hot hot, hot pie. pies? Let's call them hot pie. Hot pie. Hot pies. Hot pie after the guy from Game of Thrones. Mm, mm. I'm just say, thinking like they are wrongly named, and Fruit, I'm fruity dry fruit pie. It is a bit of a confusion. Like Christmas pudding is a thing. Yeah. That's bad. Um, also, what's that dry cake that you get? Panettone. No, the dry r- raisin the brown cake you get sometimes oh, at Christmas. Right. What's it fucking called? I guess the Christmas cake. Sure. It's Chris- there's Christmas cake, there's Christmas pie, Christmas pudding. Christ- there's no Christmas, Christmas pie. Christmas cake is a dry version of the Christmas pudding. Christmas pudding is very wet, very, very boozy. Christmas cake is usually made like months in advance. Right. And they just keep it. Yeah. And then it matures. You must have your own versions of this abroad, um, if anyone's not listening in the UK. But I, I, I can understand how people would have been avoiding mince pies their whole life because they thought it was filled with mince. Because they thought it was like... Like hamburger f- stuff. So, in fact, are people pleased now? Are more people eating mince pies? I don't know. Now that we're educating <clears throat> them that they don't <clears throat> contain actual meat. I don't understand why you would see, like, this picture with, like, the icing on them and think, oh, that's savoury. Well, I think that a lot of people do associate Christmas food with it being a bit bad or weird or traditional, right? Right. Like, I think people might have thought that the mince pie was... Something kind of gross. Some weird old traditional thing. There's a lot of that weird stuff like blood pudding and like, you know, or whatever, black pudding, which is yeah. blood and, and other stuff that's named things like, oh, sweet meats. But that's actually animal organs like... Like thyroid glands and stuff. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's like, oh, s- <clears throat> sweet breads or whatever. They're, you never quite know. Like, sweet breads, short breads, which one's the nice one? <laughs> oh my God. You, know what I mean? you don't want yeah. to get those confused. It's yeah. Because like, they, oh, sorry, you didn't want the animal organs. You wanted some delicious buttery Scottish treat. <laughs> yeah. It's very easy to get. So I think okay. people have scared I get scared the logic. It, I know, <clears throat> like what's the deal with mince pies? Let's just get it, let's just get some clarification in place. Like other, other stuff, like hot cross buns. What's the, what is the, what is Why are they so angry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great joke. So are we saying that, are we saying that mince pies are getting a, a, a falling out of favour? Are they gradually going to drop off even more? I don't they think they have? will. I think they're here to stay. They've been here hundreds of years. They're going to be around for hundreds of more years. It must be a Dickensian idea of this mince pie, right? Like the hot, the, the sultanas and the dried fruits. From it's from the days can of we yore. Just, can we stop with like the dried fruit and shit and dried everything? Can we can we just not have like raisins, sultanas, and that shit anymore? I'm down. Currants, prunes, the other one, 
craisins. Bits of like crunch, like like, 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 those, like bits of like orange that are like hard. Orange peel, candied orange peel. Can we just stop with all that shit? Yeah. What's wrong with some good old fashioned celebrations? Yeah, and a Colin the Caterpillar. Yeah. He's basically a chocolate log anyway. Yeah. Fucking, you know, Vianetta. What's wrong with that? Hmm? Chocolate log. What about a Swiss roll? What about all those frozen Swiss rolls? Ice, an ice roll. Iced, Arctic ice. Arctic roll? Arctic roll. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Everyone, you know, that's not got it's meat. It's ice cream, no but one's it's got cake that's in it. has got meat in it. It's got cake in it. How is the cake? Because you can't bake the cake in the oven, but there's also ice cream. And the ice cream from freezer. How do we work? Exactly. If that was called like a, a iced sausage, everyone would be thinking, oh, I don't want a frozen sausage. You know? Yeah. It's, mince so pies think, are wrongly named. I'm branding. agreeing with the Daily Mirror <laughs> for the well, first time It's not a Daily ever. Mirror, it's some poster on Reddit. Um, right, that, that, that is whole, being reposted on the Daily Mirror. They made a whole... Look at all these swears. Look at all these swears. Weirdly, I've always avoided them since I first tried one at a young age because it lacked meat. It lacked meat? I didn't like it because it didn't have meat in it. I was expecting a meat pie. All excited. And it's bastard awful fruit and <laughs> no, shit. No, bloody. It's oh, bloody sorry. awful. It's a it's B beep, asterisk. It's beeped asterisk. out. It's bloody. Bloody awful fruit and shit. Mince pies are a fucking pile of lies. Pie of lies. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pies of lies. Mince pies were first served back in the early Middle Ages and said to be a particular favourite of Henry VII. Right. He was not a good They were man. originally packed with mints. When did we take it out then? And why? They're rubbish mince pies. I've never Actually liked them. Actually was minced meat and fruit. Never liked them. And preserving liquid. Well, that sounds delicious. I think a lot of these seasonal foods are... What else has changed? If mince pies used to have mince in... The Colin the Caterpillar used to be that caterpillars. What the fuck? The Christmas Christmas pudding used to be con- used to have Christ consecrated. In it. Yeah, body of Christ. Communion wafers. Yeah, yeah. Um, that leads to a whole confusing mess. But well, let's move on. That was a great story. I loved it. This is what I'm. This is the PP purity that we we took ages to get here. This but is what finally. I'm talking about. This is the good shit. Right this is the good here. shit. Oh, uh, okay. So, how do you feel about an advert? I love a mug. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't couldn't be a PP oh, yeah. without some uh, sort of advert. This is your favourite. Well, KFC have got a a new KFC. product out uh, two years ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A new product from two years ago. Um, and no, it's not a, a a drumstick in a bun with gravy on. Right. Or some chicken related. Yeah, it's not a chicken wing flattened uh, in a wrap. No. What is it, Simon? It's a piece of wood that when you burn it, Makes a smell like fried chicken. <laughs> okay, so, so, like... so it's selling a log, which is just wood, a piece of wood, and somehow it's been infused with oils with a chicken smell. They have a chicken smell, a fried chicken smell. Who yeah. wouldn't want their house to smell like fried chicken all winter? Yeah, do do you? Would you like your home to smell like the Colonel's secret recipe? No, I I mean. It is. Is this a Jewish thing? Because it's got my mouth watering right now just thinking of that smell. Yeah. Because I know you. Everyone knows it. Even as I'm a vegan now, I I grew up eating KFCs like like a normal person. Is it Jew? No, Jewish people have Chinese food at Christmas. It's the Japanese that have KFC, isn't it? Yes. Oh God, how have they ever managed to wangle that? I don't know. They're delighted, but I don't know if chicken is kosher. Um, one of those is it one of those things that can they even can Jewish people even eat chicken? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the rules it's are. It's fine. It's a clean animal. The chicken. Okay. Good. That's yeah. nice to know. So they could have KFC on Christmas. Yes. Much like the Japanese do. Are they doing it? I'm sure some of them are. Sure. Uh, they're welcome to do so. 
twelve pound at Walmart. Uh, so it's only available in the United States. I guess you do need a fire. Logs are on sale in the US for just fifteen dollars eighty eight cents, twelve pounds. Right, right, right. Aged like milk, that one, hasn't it? <laughs> right, oh, I see. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, however, you can snap them up on eBay if you need one. Yeah, if you need one. If you've got you a, need one. If you've got a, a fire and need a scented chicken scented fire log, this seems like. One of those adverts, you know. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what you talking about, Lewis? Like, the, like it's a joke product to to create to, for us to create this. What we're wow. doing right now. Do you know what I mean? Well, that we're two years too late. I do like it though. Can we bleep out well, every still, time you mention still, KFC? Still reaping the rewards. So that no, they, we can't. We should do. We don't want to give them advertising. It's fine. Bleep out every time I say KFC. Don't just bleep out the F. <laughs> it just stands for fucking. <laughs> that doesn't. Kentucky fucking chicken. Right. Well, that's yeah. probably going to help them. Look, I think this is a great story. Yes. Though. I do like the idea that s- that some people will make their home smell. I imagine it's to smell mm. like when you open a packet of chicken flavored crisps. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That smell that gets on your fingers after eating chicken flavoured oh, crisps. It's supposed to be the 11 herbs and spices. Well, I mean, of course. In that log. So you, you get this spicy, which is quite Christmassy, having, like, you know, scented candles and and those weird oranges covered in cloves. Yeah, you might on want... On top of a radiator. Of Christmas smells. That's what we used to do like, in our house. Like, I don't know, like... It would be like the dry mm. raisin cake, the other Christmas, so like cinnamony and... yeah. And holly and, I don't know, like... Holly. Holly. Smell like the holly. smell of holly. Yeah, that, like, wintry, warm, potpourri kind of... Cum, cum, comfy, cum, cozy. Cum, cum, cum. Smells like cum. <laughs> <laughs> a cummy smell. <laughs> <laughs> so a log burns for two to three hours. For, like, 15 quid. I like how they've been wrapped. Is that better than... Energy bills right now, £15 to heat your house for up to three hours. Well, one room. I think it's probably still cheaper to just, you know, use an electric heater, you know. But I don't know. That, that cannot be a good... I mean, it's a log. You're paying 10 quid for a log, dude, with some KFC spices on it. I reckon you could make it yourself. You yeah, know? but then you'd have to know what the secret 11 herbs and spices are, which no one knows, Lewis. That's true. It's unknown to this day. Don't Google it. It's mostly salt. Yeah. White pepper, thyme, basil, oregano. Salt, salt. Celery salt, garlic salt. That's different. It's a different kind of salt. Black pepper, dry mustard, paprika, ground ginger. Right. Okay. So just... Normal sort of seasoning stuff. Nothing insane there, is it? That really? sounds right. Yeah. I thought it was mostly salt. All right, well, look. Love it. I love that advert. I let's... can't wait for my home to smell of salt. Let's... This Christmas. <laughs> Maybe Looking it'll keep the witches away and stuff, though. You know? Maybe it'll keep Santa away, because he's like a supernatural being. He's a gas. <laughs> he's a gas. Yeah. Yeah. It's like having a, like... <clears throat> you know, rather than... Having like a light layer of salt around the entrances. Yeah. You have a very salty air, salt in the air. We'll keep the gas, Santa gas away. I don't think Santa's a demon. Well. He's more of a fae. Well, but he falls into the, that same being, though. Supernatural being. He's, yeah, he is definitely a supernatural, powerful being. Can you summon him? If you had like a... A, a sort of s- yeah. What you what do you have to do is you have to uh, sacrifice a reindeer, right? Adorb its blood into a, a specific shape, maybe on the floor, a Christmassy shape. Yeah, like a s- circle, like a bauble, or like a, a circle, a, 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 wreath. a Christmassy shape. Yeah. A circle. A circle's quite Christmassy. What? What else do you fucking think? Like a Christmas hat? Like what? A Christmas tree shape. Sure. Daub Santa's blood. It's reindeer's blood. Not Santa's into blood. Into a Christmas tree shape. If you do it with Santa's blood, you end up summoning a reindeer. <laughs> You've got to all have it backwards. Here, haven't you? Yeah. And then everyone has to stand around it and 
sing Christmas songs, chant Christmassy things. Hat nuts, hat nuts, hat nuts. That's Santa backwards. Oh, very good. And Probably not. I don't know, like maybe like Santa. kiss Phony under a mistletoe. Yeah. Everyone has to kiss in a circle. You have to kiss the reindeer's head that you've cut off. All right. Ad nas. Ad nas. Yeah. And you have to drink a pint of Not eggnog <laughs> in one. And eat cookies. Everyone's eating cookies. You want to eat a mince pie, but it's got to be made out of minced meat. Maybe you have to open from the reindeer. this ancient tome and it's like got a letter to Santa. Dear mm. Santa, I would like... A wooden train set and a tin drummer boy for Christmas this year. Like, like and a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, you have to read that and then jingling happens. Jingle, 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 jingle. Oh, jingle. It's coming. It's working. Oh. Jingle, 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 oh. jingle, 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 jingle. And suddenly, like, there's like the soot comes out the chimney. <laughs> You hear the or the roof of someone lands, or the, the reindeer landing on the roof. It's like shaking. The house is shaking. Chimneys like, and the gas, ah! and then a boot. <laughs> Two boots arrive in the chimney. Ho 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 ho! And everyone just runs out screaming. It's ah! far too horrifying. Ah! Oh my god, that would be terrifying. Yeah, great stuff. Don't try it at home, Don't kids. do it. Don't summon Santa. Let him come naturally on his own. <laughs> <laughs> he only comes once a year, Lewis. That's good. But, um, but to ev- in everyone's house. His hands. prostate must be terrible. <laughs> um, well, look, I'm sure... If I was to give Santa a present... I would give him a prostate examination just That's to make sure everything's you. working fine. Well, you know, you shouldn't be scared of it. You know, you should check, get, you know, check it out. If there's any ever anything you're worried about, get it looked into. He's old man, Santa. You know, he's at risk. Yeah. You know, I hope someone's looking out for him. Maybe an elf does it. Oh my god! <laughs> just puts their whole head up the ass. <laughs> he looks normal up here. <laughs> <laughs> everything's fine. <laughs> Same time next year. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's it. End the episode. End the episode. We're done. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. 